Hello, how you doing? I hope God sheds his grace on you. And I know he will. Um, I want to read a story. It's it's a I really like this story for some reason. It just it just I don't know, it makes me happy for some reason. But um God knows everything about us. He knows our name. He knows before we were born. He knows all that. And this right here is a little example. And this story means a whole lot more than that too. But it, it does let you know. Because nobody told Jesus who he was. He didn't have to. Or they didn't have to. Jesus knew. But it's about Zacchaeus. And I want to read this little bit. And I know I've read it before. But I want to read it again. It says. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, and he was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. See, right there was strikes against him. I mean, people didn't like him because he was a tax collector. And he sought to see Jesus who who he, and he sought to see Jesus who he was. And he could not for the press because he was little of stature. There were so many people he couldn't see Jesus because he was short. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. He wanted to see Jesus so bad, he went and climbed up in that tree so he could make sure he saw him. And when Jesus came to the place, see, uh, never mind. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come and come down, for today I must abide in thy house, at thy house. I bet that made him so happy. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto, him, unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and I... If I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I'll restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation. Come to this house, for as much as he is also the son of Abraham, for the son of man has come to seek and save that which was lost. He knew his name. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. He knew his name. He knew his heart. He knew everything about him. And he still forgave him of his sins. He still had mercy on him. He is so good. He is so good. He knows everything about us. He knows our aches and pains. He knows our heartaches. He knows it all. This morning I have... I, I have lost, I lost this thing and I've been looking for several days driving myself crazy because I just couldn't understand where it was and I thought did the dogs do something with it I couldn't find it this morning I was stressing over it and for some reason this morning I was sad I shouldn't have been but I was and I was crying and not over that I'm just not sure why and then I walked in here where it shouldn't have been and there it was sitting over there on that thing by that other TV and when I saw it, I got so happy. I just said, thank, I just kept on thanking Jesus, thanking Jesus. I know he did that for me. He is so good. He will help you in all kinds of ways. And this is little and it's probably nothing to, to anybody. But it was so much to me. It was so much to me. Just like my mother's ring. When I lost it. Her wedding ring that I wear. Because mine, I don't have a wedding ring, but I do. I have this one. I wear it. But um, it was lost for a few days. And I mean, I dug, we got like a, I don't remember, know how big it is. But it's a very tall, huge garbage can that the trash people come and pick up once a week. And it was during the summer and it was nasty. It stunk so bad. It had gross stuff in it because trash is trash. And you throw away, you just, it's nasty. <laughs> I dug through that and dug through that. Looking for that ring because I just couldn't stand the thought of me losing my mom's ring. Because this is the only nice thing, the really nice thing that I have from her. It is, is 
14 karat white and yellow gold. And, um, but I've, I've had it throughout my whole life. And it was something I just was, it just broke my heart to thought I lost it. And I couldn't find it anywhere because I had just put it on. And then I didn't want to get it dirty so I, to wash dishes. So I took it off. And that was the last thing I remembered. Well, I took it off at the sink. Not that you can see my sink. I'm pointing. But <laughs> anyway, I couldn't find it. And I just kept on, oh, please help me, please help me. And I just couldn't do it, couldn't do it. And then all of a sudden, one morning, <coughs> excuse me. I walk in my bathroom, and there it is laying on a book where it should have never been there. It was not there because I can't tell you how many times I went past that place, and it wasn't there. Little things like that he does for me, and when he does, it makes me so extremely happy. And I know he does it for you. You, <coughs> Excuse me. You might not realize it, but he does. He does any little thing. He does medium things, and he does great big things. He is amazing. He's wonderful. Come to Jesus while you still have a chance. Once you're dead, it's too late. You only have a chance while you're breathing. And if you put him off long enough, if you just keep resisting him and put him off, put him off, put him off, not want nothing to do with him, he might get tired and he can let you have your way. Just like he don't want to send nobody to hell, but people will not quit sinning. They want their sins. Apparently, they don't want to go to heaven, so he lets them have their way, and they end up in hell. I hope you have a good and blessed day. I hope you understood something I said. God knows you. He knows the hairs on your head. He knows everything about you, and he wants you to be with him in paradise. He doesn't want you to go to hell with the devil. The devil wants you with him, but God knows. Jesus resisted the devil. He, <coughs> he could have sinned, but he didn't. He took our sins. So we could be saved and he had no sin. Jesus had no sin. But he did it for us because he loves us so much. And that love is just, it's amazing. I mean, you can never feel once he comes into your life and you're truly saved. You will feel love and peace and joy like you've never felt before. And it's not an easy road. But it's so much better with him in your life. Come to him while you can. He loves you so much. He wants you to be with him. He's waiting for you. I'm, so, I'm not sad. I just love him so much. It just, it just overfills. I don't even know how to say it. It just, I cry because I'm happy. I'm not sad crying. I'm not. I just love him so much. It just, I don't. That's what my, what I do. I guess. I've always loved somebody. When I did love somebody a lot, it made me cry. But it's a good cry. It ain't a bad one. So don't think, oh, I don't want to nothing to do with him. He makes you cry. No, he doesn't. And I'm so happy and so full of joy and love. And, and I'm so happy he loves me. And I'm so happy he forgave me my sins. That makes me cry. And he loves you and he wants to forgive you of your sins. Woo! I hope you have a good and blessed day. I hope I can talk to you again soon. And I hope you come to Jesus before it's too late because he does. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. He wants you to be with him. Come to him while you still have a chance. Once you're dead, it's too late. I love you. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.